Don't listen to him. 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 Are you listening to me, Johnson? I've been trying to get your attention for a full minute. What's keeping you? Uh, oh, so, so, sorry, 98462. Uh, I was just uh, uh, elsewhere. Well, right now you're here in the way of the coal stage. If you wouldn't mind moving off, I've got a long day's work ahead of me and I would like my coal. You're not the only one with tons of work, you know. Hmm. I must have struck a nerve. How peculiar. Focus. Don't drift off again, just focus. That's all you need to do. You have lots of work, lots of goods trains after this, but it'll be fine. It'll come right soon. It has to. There you are, Henry. <laughs> Can't believe you dragged me away from the station like this again. Must be the, what, fifth time this week? <laughs> oh, ha ha. Very funny, Thomas. <laughs> oh, cheeky little tank engineers. <laughs> Anywho, um, I suppose you can guess why he pushed me here. Yeah, I can. Well then, uh, there isn't much to say that you haven't heard before. Are you keeping hard at work, Johnson? You could say that. That's good. A busy engine is a useful engine. Yeah, but... Being busy can be... stressful, sometimes. Well, I'm sure it's a good stress. <sighs> I wish I could be busy. I long for a good run, with the wind gently blowing through the trees as I hurry past. My system doesn't allow that, of course. Sometimes I can pull trains very well, but sometimes I have no strength at all. You do try to use your strength, don't you? Oh yes, I give it my all, but the trouble's something to do with my firebox. Uh, I think that's the problem anyway. You're uncertain about your own issues. Uh, put it that way and uh, you can have it that way, I suppose. Henry. It's... it's not that you... that you... well... Um... that I... what, 
Johnson. Forget I said anything. No, no. What is it? Henry, it's not a big deal. It's not worth knowing. If there's something wrong, Johnson, I can... Johnson, I mean well. We're friends, aren't we? Uh, friends can talk to each other. I'm not much of a talker. Yes, I know that. But you don't need to say much. You're a clever engine. You've always got something going on in your smoke box. I'd like to hear what you're currently thinking. Is it something to do with the fat director giving you passenger work? Is it not going well? No, it's not that. Then... What is it? <sighs> Let's... Just discuss this later, eh? I don't think either of us are fit to chat right now. You're wrong. He's wrong. Henry can't be lying. He wouldn't lie. Don't give in to what he tells you. You can't let him do that to you. Stop listening to him. Stop listening to him. Stop listening to him. Please. Good morning, Johnson. There's been a change of plan in your jobs today. The Brendan branch is very busy. Edward doesn't have the time to push trains up the hill, so I need you to do it instead. Get to Ellsworth and wait for further instructions. Um, all right, sir. Who's going to do my work? 98462 and Henry shall share it. Henry, sir? Yes, indeed. His driver says he's got lots of steam this morning, so he'll be more than fine. I could use a push. Well, are you going to bank the train or not? I'm surprised you're asking me for help. It's a long train. I thought you were strong. I am strong, but I am not foolish. Without your help, I can't get over the hill. I'm not blind to that. What choice do you have, Johnson? What's sitting around going to do for you? Put it like this. I'm pulling at the front. You're merely pushing from the back. You're not doing the important work. I am. If it were any other engine, the pressure would all be on your buffers. You remember what I said about Henry, don't you? Keep that in mind, then. When he comes along and when he asks for help, 
You'll be the only one trying. But with me, it's a vastly different story. If you give in to Henry's system any longer, you'll be the one paying the price. Take action, Johnson. You know it's the only thing you can do. You have no choice. Smart move. You've gotten this far. He knows what he wants from you. Don't let him have it. He can't be right. But I... Henry does seem to always get out of work. It can't always be real. Maybe it's... Never real. Maybe he's got a point. No. No, Johnson, what the hell are you saying? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. <coughs> Banker, please. <coughs> Oh, Johnson. <coughs> oh, I'm relieved to see you. Could you push me and my train up the hill, please? <coughs> Are you feeling all right, Henry? Just <coughs> having steaming troubles. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. <coughs> I thought you were fine this morning. I was, but <clears throat> not anymore. How does that work? Uh, what do you mean? How are you suddenly not feeling well? It can't just change like that. But it did. I've been working all day, Johnson. Looking after your trains as well as my own has been dreadful. <laughs> Can't imagine. Excuse me? What's the matter with you, Johnson? You seem very off-put by something, and you're not hiding it very well. It's fine. I'll give you a push. Now hold on. This is getting very odd. This morning, 98462 came along and asked me about you. He asked if I noticed you getting more... distant. Whenever the topic of your work comes up, you seem to get agitated. If a bully like 98462 thinks something's up, then that's a cause for alarm. There's another thing. On the night where you had to go to the works, 87546 was late coming home. Those two events aren't connected, are they?
up, up, up. I'm not finished. Ever since I got out of the tunnel, you've been acting strangely towards me. I can take Thomas's antics, Gordon's harsh words, I can even take 87546 tormenting me, but I won't take you getting on my case. I thought we were friends, Johnson. We are friends, right? Answer me, please! You're no better than he is. Better than who? Ugh, putting it off yet again, I suppose. Give it all you've got, Johnson. <coughs> Full steam. Come on, come on. <coughs> Oh, this is painful! Pushing back there! Go on, push! Push! I can't do it! <laughs> I can't do it! Oh no. Damn it! Come on, come on, please work, come on. I gotta stop, I have to stop. Please, please work. Johnson, 
Johnson, are you all right? The breakdown gang's been called. They'll be here soon. When did the workers say Johnson was coming back again? They said its repairs wouldn't take long. It'll be back soon. And once they are, I'm going to have a very strong word with them. What about? It's not really your business, Thomas. Please, can you arrange my coaches? I'll be there at the platform in half an hour. Ah, why has everyone been using that shunt this train excuse on me? You don't need to know what this feud is about. Be a sensible engine and give me a bit of privacy. Bah! That tunnel really did do something to you, Henry. Thomas. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Welcome back, Johnson. Still shaken up, are you? I'm sorry. Johnson, I need to know what was going on in your mind. Please, I want to understand. I don't know why I did it. How? How could you not know? You clearly did it on purpose. You sabotaged my train. The whole thing came racing down towards you. You must have known that was going to happen. How could you let this happen? I said I don't know, Henry. It was like, it was like his voice was there lingering in my mind. All I could do was repeat what he told me over and over again. I didn't know what to believe. That terror he evoked never went away. There was this, this, this urge to know. And, and, and I, I, To know what, Johnson? All these times, I've had to rescue you, Henry. That wasn't just an act, was it? What? You don't fake your illness, do you, Henry? This doesn't sound like an idea that solely belongs to you, Johnson. Perhaps the thought crossed your mind, it crosses every engine's mind, but no one's taken it to the extent you have. Have you been talking to someone? Was it Gordon? 98462? No, no, you didn't listen to. Not 87546, surely not. 
I didn't want to, but he came to me, time and time again. Every word he said never left me. Johnson, whatever he told you, it's stuff and nonsense. He's a very sly sort of engine, you know that. Why would you give him any attention? I was scared. I had so much work to do, so many responsibilities, and so many of them were yours, and he was... He was the only one who understood. He made me believe you were lying. I would love to handle all my trains, but it's not that simple. I suffer dreadfully. You of all engines should understand that. He told me no one cares. 87546 said no one cares about you. He said you were faking it to take advantage of me. He seemed so confident. So I... I began thinking. And then... And then he told me to take action. I thought that I could... Oh shit. Johnson. If you thought I was manipulating you, why would you let him do the same? I'm... I'm sorry. You already said that, Johnson. I'm not sure if I can... forgive you. You should have told someone that the work was getting too much. The fat director could have helped. He would have helped. He can still help. He's sending me away. I'm going back to the Midlands tomorrow. He knows he can't trust me. Not after this. I'm staying the night at Wellsworth. I should go. Henry, can I tell you something before I go? Make it quick. Something is going to happen. I don't know what, but he's got plans. And when those plans are ready, it's not going to be pretty. Please. Remember that, Henry. Another path for you, Johnson. A better suited path. You've already started down it. There's no turning back now. You haven't anywhere else to go. Follow my lead. Let me guide you. We will ensure these idiots will suffer for their sins against us. If you come with me, 
You will be enlightened. You will be part of legend. You will be treated like a hero. You will be a survivor. If you do not, you will be discarded. No one will ever remember you. The Cutter's Torch will sentence you to a painful death. Follow on, Johnson. Follow on.